Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I have a quick explanation to be able to help new players like level up faster and climb the tower. Really quick technique to help you supercharge your offense. And so basically what we're going to talk about is tick throws. Most people know what tick throws are, but I'm going to talk about a really easy way to do them in Guilty Gear because I don't really see too many people talking about how to actually do a tick throw. So to do a tick throw, all you do is essentially use either a punch or a kick button after dashing in with momentum and the momentum will really carry you into your opponent and keep you close and so what you do is you do one light or two light punches and you hold forward while that punch is going and the moment you see your character inch forward just a little bit then you grab your opponent and so the reason why this works is because most people think that you have to like time the dash after your punches to be able to go in and get that grab but in actuality if you just hold forward it will buffer that movement for you as soon as the move is done. So as soon as your character is able to move, they will automatically inch forward a little bit. And that dash momentum already keeps you close to that character to allow you to easily get a throw mitts up. And while this is really simple on the surface, when you mix this in with everything else you already do with your offense, it makes you very unpredictable and a great way to be able to climb the ranks. Tick throws is something that works with every character in the game. And a great way of knowing that if a move is good for a tick throw is if uh, if it's a fast hitting move so for example some crouching kicks will also allow you to get a tick throw and some punches as well a great way of seeing it would be to simply test it by pressing a button uh, and walking forward and see how long it takes for you to be able to walk forward some moves have so much recovery where it's not really a move that you would try to do a tick throw off of a great way of being able to test it uh, in training mode is to go to training mode and turn on counter attack options after block and set your uh, training dummy to mash punch after block. And that's a great way of being able to train your tick throws because if you get good enough at it, you can actually grab them one frame out of block stun and you can grab them before they're able to get a jab out. So that's a good way to be able to practice it. But even if you aren't able to do that consistently, it's still a great option because in a game, most people are thinking about so many things that you can grab them because it's so quick. One thing to be careful of is if you input the grab button too early, there's a chance that you will whiff because you didn't give your character enough time to cover that gap and make that little cover that little bit of distance that's necessary for you to be able to get that grab. That's basically it. But to sum it up in the fastest way possible is that whenever you the cue that you can go for a tick throw is when you've dashed up to your opponent and you made them hold a fast hitting move such as a crouching punch or a regular punch or a crouching kick. If you got them to block that while dashing in on them, you can just hold forward to walk forward a little bit more and get a grab before they can even see it. The last little caveat or tip that I'll give you guys is that experiment with your characters because characters also have their own uh, special and unique ways of getting tit throws as well. So, for example, Chip, Chip's uh, standing punch actually whiffs on crouching opponents. So what you can do, with, but it's extremely quick. So what you can do is that you can do a crouching punch with with a standing punch and then go for a grab because the standing punch with animation is so quick that you're able to recover and now go for a grab so that's just one unique mechanic or way that a character specific a, a character specific way that someone can get a tick throw and that's something that you guys should be exploring with your characters as well and if you're a chip player this is something that you can implement into your game by knocking someone down running up to them making them hold a crouching punch and then going for a grab or make them hold a crouching punch do a standing punch and then go for a grab as well it's a great way of trying to catch an opponent either jumping out and then grabbing them or vice versa if you guys enjoyed the video or got anything useful or have any questions please leave a comment in the comment section below uh, if you guys enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe so you can get more quick tips and things like that to help you get better faster. Peace.